hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is fazetti ali and i'm an interior designer who's always giving the best tips on how to make your space look stunning i also do diys and give you guys affordable ideas on how to make your own home deco pieces i also paint so do feel free to hit that subscribe button below and join the family i upload videos every single week anyway guys in today's video i'm going to show you exactly how i got to make this beautiful um decorative table tray right out of a pizza box i know interesting i thought i should give it a try because i've been seeing all this beautiful um hexagonal um table trays on pinterest and i see them being sold on in online shops and stuff and they're quite expensive actually so i decided actually i was having my pizza one day and i saw the box and i thought mm, it looks it has that shape of the tray so i thought maybe just pimp it a little bit with a few materials and see if it will look like one of those trays and guys i love how it turned out it was quite inexpensive i mean it's just a box and i this is one of those diys that i think you guys will be able to do for yourselves so stay tuned and let me show you exactly how i got to make this So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be trying to make a beautiful decorative table tray and I'm going to be using very very simple materials and I'm hoping this turns out great because I have not seen this being done um, just yet. I've seen people doing decorative um, DIY like trays and stuff but I haven't seen anybody doing it with a piece of book so I'm excited because I have seen a lot of gorgeous hexagonal shaped trays on pinterest and i thought you know why not instead of throwing these pizza boxes i could just use them and turn them into trays so i'm gonna give this a shot i have no idea how it's going to turn out but i hope it turns out great so that you guys can you know figure out another diy um, that you can use in your own spaces so i can't wait to do this i'm gonna use this small pizza box i have this kind of this is gonna be i hope this will be helpful i was on jumia one time i usually buy a lot of things on jumia so i decided to order this they're called decorative tile mirror tile mirror tile or something and at that time it was going for just 200 shillings and you get 16 pieces so there's practically 16 pieces in here as you can see so this ones can be you can put them on tiles you can arrange them on your wall and this is what they look like so they have this top covering which is light blue in color but when you remove it you get this decorative uh, mirror um, paper and it's kind of you know hard and then at the back we remove this yellow paper and it's sticky so you can stick it whatever you want tiles walls whatever so i'm gonna be using this all those hexagonal um trays are you know there's a lot of trays these days that are usually mirrored i'm going to be using them on the on this part of the tray so that we have that mirror effect and i hope they work well because clearly i was not going to be able to get a hexagonal mirror anywhere anyways so yeah let's give this a shot i'm going to show you the rest of the materials that i'll be using really soon and of course i have my glue gun ready just in case i need it so yes let's get right into this So now I have my two pieces guys, I'm just going to stick them together and then, you know, get to the next piece. I'm going to go ahead and place our mirrored um, tiles on top of this to just create that mirrored effect on the base 
like most of um, the trays look like so I've already cut some part of this so that it fits on this size right here so it's going to just lay there like that and then I'm going to cut this one the same way and place it on this side and then I'm going to have you know others on this side and then I'll just be able to cut off the extra ones I've stuck them all down and so I hope it will look great and you know we'll have the mirrored effect going on So I'm only going to use, I guess, three, three of this, which is great because I kind of didn't want to use too many. I feel like I still have a lot more things that I'll be using them. So I'm just gonna figure out where the middle is really quickly, so that when I place the mirrors, I kind of know the middle. So guys, we have this base ready and it's pretty solid and looks like a mirrored base. So the next material I'm going to be using are this and this is that clear um, kind of uh, paper that we use when we go to bind at Cyber. So I just bought this to at a Cyber for um, 20 shillings each. So like we usually have the glass around the trays. This is going to substitute the glass for me, so I'm just going to cut it and stick it around our base and yeah, that's the next step. Sadly, I only have this long <laughs> ruler, so I'm gonna use this to just measure my the sizes that I need for the sides. So I'm just going to cut my 0.5 height um, strips from here that I'm going to be sticking on the clear paper. So I've already drawn my lines.
so guys i'm pretty much done um, with this one i haven't yet peeled the papers off but i will do that and then i'll be sticking them onto this base like this so guys after pretty much i don't know an hour or oh my god making this little frames was actually so much more work than i thought but i'm going to be removing this blue sticker after i have placed them on this so i'm going to first try um sticking them on there using this if it doesn't work i'm gonna go ahead and use the glue gun so yeah let's get right to that so i realize it's pretty hard to remove all this blue sticker once you've already stuck it so I'll just go ahead and be removing them first before I stick them onto the base on this inner part guys I'll just be going in with a little bit of um, the clear cellotape and it works just fine so guys, the best way you can do this and make it easy for yourself is you take this, um, stick it next to the next one with the sellotape right at the edge. It, you cannot see the sellotape after mostly clear sellotape. And then put your, use your glue gun and put some glue here and then just stick it. It's easier and faster at the same time. Once you stick um, this and this together, you can now have your glue gun ready and put glue here and just stick this on this side. Just for the final touches on the corners, I'm going to try and cover the corners. They look a little bit untidy. So I'm going to just be using this beaded strings right here. Good thing is that they're silver, so I'll just let it lie all around. I'll just use the, you know, the glue gun, sorry. And then I'll just place it on the edges and place this on the and I'm sure it will look, you know, still fine and it will cover all that untidiness of the edges. finally got to um, come to the end and you guys can see just the end result of this um, pizza box um, table tray DIY I really 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 love how it turned out I'm super impressed by it I really did not know um, how exactly it was going to turn out just because I have never done this before I haven't seen people do this and so I'm not I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not but guys it has turned out really nice i love it and i think it looks a great and it will be a great centerpiece on this stool i'm not even sure if i'll put back my wooden tray over here for a while so yeah guys that's how much i'm really impressed by the end results i hope you guys really love it too and of course guys do try it out the trays are sold out there yes for sure but they're never cheap they're super expensive if you can't afford them get your pizza box get your mirrored um tiles and get your this clear paper some glue and you're good to go you don't need paint you don't need anything expensive and you'll be having your table tray it looks amazing no one's going to really think it's made out of box unless you tell them <laughs> it's not that perfect i know but I still really really think that it would look amazing in your space too anyway guys that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope um i'll be able to give you a lot more um interesting diys in the coming videos so don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can always be notified every time i upload a new video of course don't forget to like comment 
and of course share i'll be truly truly grateful anyway guys see you next week inshallah in another video love you guys so much bye bye